first, a check on your weather. It is feeling like winter out there today. Cold, even a little snow in some places. Here's meteorologist Joe Fury with your local forecast first. Hey, Joe. Hey, Sarah. Thank you. And now to that breaking news in Cheshire. Waterbury Road just reopening tonight, hours after a crash. It happened this afternoon near the Darcy School. Police say there are significant injuries. News aides Bob Wilson live near the scene. After his sweeping victory, New Haven Mayor-elect Justin Elliker naming the team that will help transition city leadership. The group is only made up of Elliker supporters. News 8's Samaya Hernandez is live with the plans he unveiled today. Good evening, Samaya. Good evening, sir. Deputy Speaker of the House. A young girl from Tolland is being recognized for her philanthropic work, a selfless act while she was battling cancer. News 8's Brian Spiros explains. The studio. All right, thanks, Jay. Now, it's hard to believe it's here, but some parts of the state saw their first snowflakes of the season last night. Others have seen a few flakes flying around this afternoon. Meteorologist Ashley Baylor joins us live now. Ashley, how normal is this? Well, it's not uncommon to see snow in November, but we like to hold off on the yes. two to three inch <laughs> rates per hour in right. November. Let's hold that off till January, February. I totally agree. Now, yeah. I didn't see any flakes, but I did feel the wind. Ooh, that wind chill was, was relentless today. today. Or, yeah. Yeah. Some towns in the hills didn't get above the freezing mark today. Wow. And the average high is like 53, 54 degrees. Yes. Warmly. And our news aides, Bobby Rumbold is a smart guy, so he's all bundled up. He's live in Woodbridge for our high school football game of the week, Hamden at Amity. How you doing out there, Bobby? Hey, Sarah, what's happening, Jocelyn? Nice